All right, everybody. So I'm going to try to make this video under five minutes. So you guys know that I have four mercury vapor fixtures, the 175s, the NEMA heads, uh, much like this high pressure sodium light right here. You know, these type of lights, the amount on poles and trees and so forth. <clears throat> Two of them are on a utility pole. Two of them, they're off right now, but they're actually back there where that little light is, where my finger is. And those two light up another gate and the pathway to go to another building. And also that pathway is the way the horses go that connects the main paddock area, which is the main fenced in area in the barn to the other side. Okay. And there's also the patio right there too, the concrete patio. And that's what those two mercury vapor lights light up. And also I like walking throughout the house and looking out the windows at nighttime so I can see what's there, if anything, if that makes sense. I don't like it when it's pitch black, because you're, when you're out here in the country, it's black. You know what I mean? You cannot see anything without a light. Um, so that's why I have them up. And the problem with those things is 175 mercury vapors basically use 200 watts with the ballast. So that's 400 watts of electricity. And as you all know, they don't put out that much light for the amount of wattage that they have or that they use compared to say high pressure sodium high pressure sodium is literally double the light output um, so because of that i take these little refractors off and that gives me an extra like 10 to 20 percent lux and um, the only problem with that is is the light is in your eye it's kind of like an led light the reason for these diffusers or refractors or whatever you want to call them is to mainly keep the light out of your eyes. Um, they might distribute light a little bit. I don't know exactly what these little things do. Um, I've tried looking it up online. I can't find much information. So I have them off. I'm using clear bulbs. Um, and yeah, I want to get more light output. So you know when you mount these things, um, pretend this is the tree that it's mounted to. All this light right here is being reflected on that tree and you're basically wasting, I want to say, it 30, 40% of the bulb at least. You know, when you stand behind a utility pole with these things and you look up, if you line yourself perfectly, you can't see these lights. The utility pole is blocking the light back there. Um, so why not? Why don't these things have like reflectors in the back of them? You know what I mean? Especially if they're going to be mounted on a thick pole or a thick tree. So what I came up with is to make it a floodlight sort of by using something like this, but you can go to the store, which I'm gonna do, buy uh, aluminum and I'm gonna cut it to say from here to here. So this whole back of the light fixture is not shining in the woods and not shining on the tree and it's shining on the reflector going this way. Now the problem is these little things are cone shaped and they get smaller as it, um, uh, uh, goes more towards the end. So it's actually pointing down just a little bit. So basically the light will hit this and bounce back off of this and then bounce more towards the ground. But I'm actually curious to see what the Lux output difference is. Now remember the Lux is the visible light that you can actually see that gets to an object. So I'm gonna stand right here so I don't have to move when I take that off, turn the Lux meter on and try to find the hotspot. So right now we are, I thought I saw 1400 there for a second, 14, 40, 1450, that's like the hot spot right there, keeps jumping up and down, but if I get it just enough, 1450, there's 1500 right there, 1550 lux, 1600, 1700, I guess it, the higher up I go, the more I get. 15. So we'll just say 1550. That's about the highest I can get right there. Okay. So I'm not going to move from this spot. I'm keeping my foot just swiveling over. I'm going to take this thing off now and I'm going to see what the Lux dropped to. So now. All the light is back here and it's not bouncing off of that thing anymore. So now let me swivel. Try to find the hot spot again. We were at what, 1550 before. So 
Seems the further down I go, the more I get. Seven. Ah, uh, past five minutes. Sorry, guys. Seven fifty. So I went from fifteen fifty to seven fifty, seven sixty. I thought I saw almost seven seventy right there. So we'll just say seven seventy. So fifteen hundred and fifty lux, and it dropped all the way down to seven hundred and fifty lux, seven hundred and sixty lux. That's literally a one hundred percent drop. So with this reflector. I gained 100% more light output in that direction that I shined the lux meter. And that was basically from here to this way. Okay. So let me see if I can show this on camera. Let me put this thing on here. Do you see how it gets brighter? Look at the ceiling. Watch. Dimmer. Brighter, dimmer, brighter. Do you see what I'm saying? That's when I'm going up and down with this thing. So I basically gain almost 100% to fit. It doesn't look like it on camera because it doesn't really show it very well. <laughs> Excuse me. But I gained 100% lux by just putting that reflector back there. So if, if this stays true to the mercury vapor and I'm getting, say, 50 lux with the mercury vapor, I should get 100 lux if it stays true to this, you know what I mean? So stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to get some aluminum, and I'm going to put it on two of these things. And, uh, well, I'm going to keep it on one, so that way I have one without, one with, because I'm going to change the hood on the video and show you guys. So I'm going to show the lux without this um, uh, diffuser. I'm going to show you guys the lux with the diffuser. And then I'm going to show you guys the Lux with the diffuser with the reflector on it. And we're going to see how much more light output I can get from those 175 mercury vapor lights. Um, hopefully, it's at least 50% more. That would be awesome because with the amount of power that those things use, you need the most amount of light you can possibly get from them. And if they're sitting there, imagine this is the woods. If they're sitting right here, why do I need all that light? shining on the leaves of the trees i need it this way not that way you know what i mean so i mean like look at the back without these lines on my camera you see how that uh let me switch hands here and i promised five minutes i'm sorry we're not in five minutes anymore but here's the back do you see how much that darkens when i put this right here All that light is completely wasted going on the pole. I don't understand why these things don't have an aluminum backing back here. That makes no sense to me. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm actually shocked at the 100% increase in Lux output. That's that's quite drastic. Um, yeah, that's a lot. I think I might be doing that to all of my fixtures, actually. Anyway, thanks for watching.